That's very true. I mean, there's there's a lot of there's, I love the midpoint because there's a lot of holes and there's a lot of places where you can where you can really really screw over your opponents if you're using the um the the actual area to its full potential guardians and uh, necros being very very useful there as well as engineers with that big bomb if they've got the bomb kit equipped. Um, and the splits are going to look interesting here. We're going to see if, yep, yeah, Mesmer has gone indeed for the Treb, exactly as we predicted. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to be, he's going to be, need, they need to deal with that as soon as possible. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks like most of the fight is going to be happening in the midpoint, but we are seeing a Thief and a Engineer go for the red team's close point, which is going to be a, uh, I'm sorry, an Elementalist. The Elementalist, uh, which is going to be uh, played by Kala, or Kala? I, sure. I, I still can't say that name, I apologize. But uh, unfortunately, uh, Bullet Time Joe, or Bullet Tooth Joe, is uh, being completely pushed back from his point, and this is going to be a cap for Frog right now. So that's going to give them two outer points for BYB to really kind of deal with. Bullet Time Joe going down there is once again, unfortunately, Heal Forever in the midpoint going down to Ace, or uh, to Arc, excuse me. Arc uh, being able to get a nice stomp out there into the midpoint here. Uh, taking a look at uh, what Floppy is doing right now, nothing of the sort. He is actually running to, looks like his close point to try and defend right now. And uh, he's actually not going to be defending on the point, which is an interesting choice. But uh, so far, we are seeing the blue team a little bit ahead right now, just in terms of points, because they do have the two outer points capped. Yeah, what we saw as well, just as we were in those intense fights, so just watching on the, the Treb, um, the blue team's Treb, um, Mesmer was in fact on it. He did leave a portal behind. Um, we did actually see one of the warriors come over to destroy the Treb and did exactly what I said. The Treb is still up, but has got about two or three HP left. <laughs> so the Mesmer knows that as well as his runaway. He's seen that the Treb's still up. So he, if he went back to get the tr the, the, the repair kit, is basically wasting his time. So the warrior did an extremely good job mm -hmm. um, with handling the Mesmer. So they've they've dealt with the Mesmer, they've dealt with the Treb, they know knew that was going to happen and they've done very well there. And I think um, Red Team are going to try and use their Treb but Rock has actually come over the Thief and he's actually gone for their Treb as well. So you see Bullet running away from the Treb now um, and Rock is going to take the Red Treb out. So it looks like Trebs are pretty much out of this fight at the moment. So we could see the Reds hopefully switch this round. Yeah, right now uh, we are seeing Floppy being engaged by three members of BYOB right now. Uh, he's dealing uh, some significant damage. He's going to drop that supply drop there, stunning a couple members of BYOB, but he's going to go down almost instantaneously. That condition damage as well as the burst damage out from BYOB just being such a key factor here. And they are going to be able to take the close point right now of uh, Frog if they can get heal down. Heal very, very low here. Unfortunately, she is going to go down here as well, and uh, she's going to be forced to be, uh, back off as well. While, I ha while that's happening as well, we've also got another little fight over on Windmill between um, Phil My Love and Kyle. And Phil My Love just <laughs> just had the edge, had the heel back down there. Um, Kyle's just gone into misform. It's inevitable. He's pretty much going to die. Did the did the good thing there. Used his uh, misform to get back on the point. Keep it contested for as long as he can. Mm -hmm. Knew even though he was going to die, still got in there. So he, he did well to get back in there. Just using that extra couple of seconds. Um, Phil My Love doing very, very good there. Looks like it's quite a useful um, move for him to move to the Necro. Uh, just going to check out his build, see how he's doing. He's got a lot of condition damage. It is very much the um, old school meta spec of the last couple of patches that we've seen um, using the dumb fire from Spite. Yep. Uh, just getting that extra burning as well. So a lot of, lot of DPS, a lot of AoE that he can spread around as well. Yeah, you know, uh, one thing also, if we take a look at the midpoint here, we are seeing Feel My Love being engaged by Heal and Floppy. Floppy dealing a ton of damage right now, as well as uh, Heal Forever actually doing a good job at keeping Floppy up, deal, uh, dealing some good stun damage as well here. And it looks like uh, Feel My Love uh, popping that Life Force to try and uh, bide time as Alice comes up, as well as Ark trying to deal some extra support damage to Heal Forever. Heal Forever actually just going to be get completely knocked back and uh, we do see uh, actually th four members of Team BYOB come in to the middle, try and deal some extra damage here. Not going to be really being able to do much of anything uh, as Heal Forever goes down in a pretty much brulee br of uh, very, very much colors. Floppy dealing a, si a significant amount of damage as well as far as the AoE, but he is going to be forced back here as well once again here. 
they they're pulling it back now. I mean, they've got the two cap over Frog. Um, their mention looks like it's going to be it's being contested at the moment. Cock Rock Cockler, then I almost said Rock <laughs> gone, <laughs> gone down on the point though. But Red have left him. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead on the point. He's not invised. They've just gone. They've decided to go for the kill. Now heels coming over as well. That was a big mistake by Byob. He he's just come in for the res. Easy, almost an easy res. As Justice is almost going to go down, but still he's getting the stuns off the Guardian. He is going to maybe get Rocker up at the moment. That was a big mistake by BYOB. They had that point. They could have recapped it, could have secured it, would have got heal as he came back in to their close point. But unfortunately, just the communication didn't seem like it was there. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, regardless, it's not going to really matter because they're going to be able to cap the point anyway. But I would, I would definitely agree that that miscommunication was kind of a big blunder. Now, we do see that the uh, far point for BYB is actually being captured by Frog. They're uh, holding that right now. But right now, BYB does have a point advantage of about 14-ish points. They are going to be able to hold the mid, and they are going to be able to ho hold uh, Frog's close point. And it looks like uh, Roka is actually going to be able to decontest that and start capping it for themselves here. Uh, we are going to look at uh, Bullet Tooth Joe here, dealing, uh, trying to deal some damage to Floppy. Floppy actually getting off his... One of his crates there, uh, just in time there. Unfortunately, uh, Bullet Time Joe not going to be able to do much of anything now that Floppy is up, trying to deal that AOE damage. Nothing really of consequence going to be happening with that Flame Turret dealing some good uh, flame damage and burning damage onto Bullet to Joe right now. You know, one thing that uh, we also have to take a look at as the uh, Supply Drop is actually being uh, very, very useful at healing up the Team Frog right now. Uh, Bullet Tooth Joe very, very low, and unfortunately going to be going down here shortly as well. And uh, that is going to be a, another cap there for the Frog team. Uh, both turrets completely down. No team is actually trying to uh, let it to go for that. And we are seeing uh, Yo Blob being engaged here by uh, one of the uh, Necromancers, Alice. And she's going to take him down as well. Feel my love getting up uh, some uh, extra support here uh, as well as in the mid point as well. We are seeing Ark being engaged by three members of the Frog team. Elementalist did pop her Elite skill, which is going to give her a nice Flame Elementalist, a Flame, uh, excuse me, Element to try and deal some extra damage. Unfortunately, Ark does go down as well. Going to be uh, trying to pop some uh, extra AoE damage here to try and keep Feel My Love out of the picture. Feel My Love actually going in without really kind of any care there. He is going to be forced to back out there as well. They, they're doing very well on this mid fight. I was just watching Floppy there um, playing on, on the Engineer. He's doing a good job of getting around the map. He's getting around the map very quickly. Like I said, he's got a lot of swiftness with the uh, with the two kits he's um, using. He's using the spec very effectively. It's a lot like um, Teldar's old spec, but playing in a very different style. So it's nice to see these, these old specs coming back and still being used and that they are still effective and being mm -hmm. kept in the game. And uh, it looks like we do see uh, Reds are pushing out from Windmill from their close point. They had a little bit of a regroup, which is always a good idea. They are in the lead now by about 30 points. And um, with Mansion also getting contested now, it does look like Miss has just gone down. It's just going to get put down by Floppy. You've got Feel My Love is in there and actually is on Plague Form as well. So he's not... He's, he's still got a little bit of time on that. So hopefully Reds can either get into him or he can be used as a possible delay tactic so that they can possibly get to the midpoint and maybe try and put some contestion on that but it looks like BYOB are going to well maybe go in one by one and potentially lose this team fight. We'll see. They are, it is fairly even on this point at the moment. Yeah, Floppy actually going down right now, and we are seeing a uh, frog member try and rally him. Two stomps going off. I don't think this is going to be able to really happen there. Unfortunately, Floppy does go down. That is going to be a huge kind of bunker point being contested there. We are seeing a trebuchet from the red team actually hammer down onto this mansion area here. That is going to deal a significant amount of AoE knockback and damage, and we are seeing heal forever. Unfortunately, going down as well. Very, very low here. She's just, she just will not die. Unfortunately, Yo Blob is going to go down here as well. So that is going to be three members in the course of about 25 seconds going down for Frog. And right now they are about, uh, give them about 80 point disadvantage right now. Frog needs to cap at least two points and hold them for the remainder of the game to win this match.
I mean, the the like we said at the beginning as well before we started that Treb in this fight would probably mean that the the fights would be switched so much and the, it would decide a game. I mean, what what's happened here essentially is that Bully Bullet moved off of Windmill um, to their uh, Treb and actually decided that that team fight was more significant than having the the actual windmill capped. Mm -hmm. So he moved to the Treb, he hit Mansion, and it was pretty much the decider in that fight. He lost their close point. It is still contested, but that they got a lot of kills and a bit of good, nice point advantage. So it's all about weighing up the odds, seeing what's happening on the mm -hmm. map, and he he chose right there. He did a very, very, very good job. Yeah, uh, you know, one thing that we can also take a look at at uh, Heal Forever doing a good job in the midpoint, really kind of supporting her teammates and really making sure that they kind of stay alive. Uh, unfortunately, Alice is kind of taking the brunt of damage right now onto this midpoint. And that is going to be a uh, still holding capped for the frog team. Uh, BYOB still being able to hold both of the side points, which is really, really difficult to kind of try and uh, decap your own side point, especially if the other team is putting more resources into it than you are. Uh, and then being able to completely change over onto this windmill here as well. Unfortunately, uh, Kyle does go down here as well. Uh, she's going to pop Miss for him, really trying to say, hey, teammate, see if, uh, see if you guys can actually res me. Uh, Floppy going to try and go in for the res here, and that is going to be a uh, rallied teammate for Frog. Unfortunately, it looks like we are going to go into a second, uh, a, a, I'm sorry, a third, a fourth match. We're going into a fourth. Five. Yeah. No, this is this is awesome. I mean, next is the the temple, so I've definitely not casted on that before. And I saw a very very nice play from Floppy there um, on uh, film. I love was just between windmill and um, keep. Did a really good job. Didn't didn't down my um, my love. But actually kept him bleeding out. Kept his damage up. And um, he was actually healing himself up while he was down, so he wasn't bleeding. He was just bleeding him out, and he kept him out of the fight for a while. It was unfortunate that Frog lost that, because they played some really nice really nice um, tactics in that map. But uh, BYOB on that mansion fight pretty much secured that, that win and just played the map. And the change for the FIFA for the uh, Necromancer really seems to have... Them.